Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I'm really excited today because there's some massive changes spoken about um, not only in the article that we're going to be going over but also in the actual Warhammer daily stream for 40k in the new 9th edition. Um, very, very, as I said, excited with these changes. I think these changes is what's needed in the game, especially if you're a melee orientated army. I love melee but there's really no point of me actually taking melee as a space marine because you're just better off shooting. Now, with these new Overwatch changes, I think it's actually vital now to start looking down the melee route. Also today, I want to talk about um, different color schemes when it comes to some of the new um, um, Primaris models as well, because GW put a little teaser out of uh, Deathwing colored normal marines, not Terminators, just normal Primaris marine in Deathwing colors. So I just want to yeah, go down that road and see if there's something bigger coming and uh, maybe there's like a new way to actually deploy um, certain marines and stuff like that. But let's first start with um, um, this whole new Overwatch mechanic and let's just get talking about it. Briefly to explain what Overwatch is for those of you who may be new to the game and uh, what happens when you charge a unit, uh, the unit that's being charged can have Overwatch. Uh, they get to fire all their guns on um, rolls of six that gun hits the target and you just proceed like um, a normal shooting phase where you know you then roll to wound etc etc now this is all changing because overwatch is turning into a core stratagem what that means is that you don't now automatically do overwatch instead you can now say all right i want to do overwatch but it will cost you one command point. So as you can see in the background now, this is the actual core stratagem now, Fire Overwatch. One command point, as I stated. Use this stratagem after an enemy unit has declared a charge against one or more units from your army. One of the units that was chosen as the target of that charge can fire Overwatch before the charge roll is made. Now, I think this is a massive game changer in 9th edition, and I think it's a good thing to change as well. Me, as an Imperial Fist, I love my gun lines. Don't get me wrong. I know people mean me. I'm like a tower player and stuff like that. I used to love when people used to... Um, 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 you know, charge into me, because when I fired my Overwatch, if I got any sixes, it was basically two shots, because sixes with bolt weapons equals an additional hit as an Imperial Fist, so I used to absolutely love it. What the main problem I saw in 8th edition is that since you had that sheer amount of firepower, and Overwatch just came as nothing, it's like, alright, there's really no point of me, you know, not taking Overwatch, because what, you know, if, even if I have, like, you know, a 10% chance of, like, hitting these guys, it's got to cost me nothing, I'd rather just take the chance, but now, since it costs command points, it brings a new type of strategy into the game, because if someone's, like, eight inches out, you got to say to yourself, do I really want to spend one command point to try and uh, thin this unit out, or do I just, you know, want to save it and hopefully they'll actually fail their charge because they're so far out. Maybe the dice gods will be on my side instead of their side. Then, when you look at certain units in your army, as they mentioned actually in the article, aggressors armed with flamestorm gauntlets, those are auto-hit. So for one command point, you're actually going to be looking at them and thinking, okay, yes, I'm definitely going to be getting them because if they charge, then I'm, I'm, I'm getting all my auto-hits. I just roll the dice on how many, how many hits I actually get with my flame balls. So again, it brings a different element into the game and it also helps people who have the melee aspects armies like corn berserkers i think are going to be massive winners from this i would argue that black templars and stuff are going to be massive and winners from this and when you start looking at the new ranges that gw are bringing out now especially for like the primaris marines and all the assault that are a part of that you know the blade guard veterans and the actual assault with chainsaws and stuff like that again that is another massive winner to get those units into combat and make combat good again in warmer 40,000. and when you do get into the old overwatch mechanic you know you have played your one command point and stuff like that overwatch more or less works the same as you can see in the background right now um this is the the little blurb they put out they actually mentioned it on the stream um as you can see at the bottom um a lot of bullet points they actually want a bullet point a lot of information so when you actually come to open your rule book and you're looking for rules and stuff you can easily find them and address you know the certain situation so at the bottom overwatch before charge rolls are made all charge targets that can fire overwatch can do so can never fire overwatch while enemy units are in uh, the engagement range that's a new thing when fire Firing Overwatch, shoot uh, with a unit, but attacks only hit on unmodified sixes. You know, that's what we, we, we come to expect when we play with Overwatch. 
again, when it comes to certain armies, I think they've got to be uh, winners in here. Um, I, I see like Tau and stuff maybe struggling with this, but I, again, I'm sure they have Tau and some special abilities where if you fight Overwatch, two other units, if you play more command points, can also fire Overwatch. So it may be beneficial for them to actually, you know, fire Overwatch and stuff like that. Um, stuff like uh, Black Templars, Corn Berserkers, Orcs with all their assault stuff, Tyranids, um, you know, these these are the kind of armies that I think I really have really got to start benefiting now from um, getting into melee and this um, new Overwatch um, actually mechanic. But another thing as well is terrain. We've heard so much about terrain and we get another example about Overwatch and terrain now. So this was mentioned on the stream as well and this is like a defensible and this is something you can actually do with your units. So again, all bullet points to make it easy to read. So infantry units can hold steady or set to defend if no enemy within the engagement range. So hold steady, Overwatch attacks hit on 5+. plus. So again, if you actually want to hold that piece of terrain and or the ground where that terrain is and um, you can declare to hold steady so if someone does charge you and you want to spend one command point you're not hitting on um, uh, sixes anymore you're actually hitting on fives set to defend is another option you can't fire overwatch but you add one to hit with rolls in the next fight phase so basically if you have like a full-on melee unit that is defending that building of course you're not going to go hold steady you've got to set to defend you've you've got all your power swords you've got your chain swords in there and stuff like that so when the enemy does come in and it is your fight phase in that fight phase you are plus one to, to, to hit the enemy in that target. Again, I, I think that's incredible. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing more of these terrain benefits and what actually happens. We've heard so much. Yes, we had little previews and stuff like that, but we've heard so much about how the terrain is basically going to be like a third player in the game. And I, I, I just really want to get it because me as an Imperial Fist, I absolutely love terrain. I, I love defending. I love, you know, fortifying and everything like that. So the more I see of stuff like this, the more ex excited I get for 9th edition. And not to leave the Crusader mode out, they actually shown something off called Cool Headed. So you can actually give this to like you know um um, your troops and stuff as they you know level up and everything like that it says it's one of our favorite new and um, battle traits your units can receive as part of the crusade force permanently granting them free and improved overwatch so um this is this this is again this is why I'm, I'm i'm loving like this new crusade mode because games now mean something and units mean something so if i have a unit and it's proven to be like an absolute badass unit and um, you know they've crushed enemies and i can then give them cool headed and um, this this new thing you've seen in the background now you can roll a failed morale test taken for this unit. In addition, if a unit declares this unit as a target of their charge, this unit can fire Overwatch and will score hits on unmodified rolls of 5 plus instead of 6 when doing so. So you can see that it really adds to that unit. You're like, yeah, charge me. These guys have been with me through thick and thin. I'm waiting for it. I, I absolutely love that narrative aspect that um, Crusade has got to be offering. And I think, really, in the future, I'm probably going to be basing most of my games trying on the, the, the Crusade feature because, um, as I've mentioned, mentioned before like when the the whole crusade article was mentioned um i was really bored of playing games and it meant nothing like okay i won or i lost but it doesn't really matter because nothing really came from it but now when i play my games if i win or i lose it actually matters because you know my friends can get upgrades and then i can get upgrades and stuff like that so every game now matters and that me as a like a narrative player that is what i want i i, I want my army to feel important on the battlefield so that is why i'm really excited for this new crusader mode and just to finish off the video i want to talk about this image in the background yes that is deathwing colors on not terminators and uh, for those of you who don't know deathwing are like the elite first company of the dark angels and they're all in the bone colored stuff um but they're normally only found as terminators that's what they deploy is terminator armor you know deep striking in space hulks all that kind of fancy stuff um you actually want to talk about um but for me i think this is the first time i've ever seen official models from gw painted as not terminators in the um, death wing colors as you can see we've got the um, veteran blade guard we've got um the veteran well i'm calling him a veteran agent i don't think we've actually got a name for him yet we've also got in the background you probably can't see because i've cropped it off in this image um an actual reporter tank also painted in death wing colors um as well so for me i think this is um maybe something big changing um and when it comes to the actual death wing organization also maybe rules with these new guys when the dark angels eventually get their book are they going to get some maybe like cool death wing kind of stratagems to go along with the veteran and um, blade guard and stuff like that or like the ancient banner bearer or even the repulsors and stuff and um, i think um maybe it could be you know some nice funky new rules hopefully anyway fingers crossed because the more rules for space marines and everything you know all the armies um is always better i know um, a lot of people saying wait 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 what, what, what does this mean for like first barber reads does this be like you know definitely I, I i personally just think it's just incorporating more things into the law yes we can probably have a whole different debate um about you know should they really be in 
there because they're not terminators and you know they can't deep strike and everything like that we don't really know that much about the rules yet and um, we we have talked about before you know can you paint aggressors up in deathwing colors I've, I've always gone with um the thought of if it looks cool and you like it just do it your own way it's all about that rule of cool and um, but hopefully um adding to this they will get you know rules and stuff to like you know incorporate them into the deathwing so if you do paint them as deathwing colors um as i stated you can get some little cool features um to go along with them right that is me done for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as always leave your thoughts feedback everything like that down in the comments section and we'll have a nice little talk about it down there as we always do hopefully you're having a good day um i'll see you all very very soon and uh, we'll speak then see you now and bye bye